Hey, I'm Donald Bell from Maker Project Lab, and I'm gonna give you a quick overview of my build of the Adafruit Trinket Powered NeoPixel Goggle Kit. This kit runs around $40. You can get it directly from Adafruit, or I'll include a link here in the notes for getting it from Amazon as well. Now, in the box, you're gonna get the goggles, two NeoPixel rings, the trinket, which is like an Ada, uh, Arduino uh, type board from Adafruit. There it is. Uh, and a JSD connector that's going to connect the included battery pack to the board. And that's the first thing you're going to wire up. You're going to do a surface mount solder to get the JSD connector onto the board, which can be a curveball if you're new to soldering or a beginner. Uh, surface mount soldering can be a little bit tricky. There it is all soldered up. There's the NeoPixel ring. Now what you're going to do is run the wires through the front of the NeoPixel ring uh, so that you can bend them back and through the eyepiece. Uh, that way it can press up flat against the lenses of the goggles. Now the instructions on how to wire these or chain these together was a little bit hazy. I wish there were better pictures on the Adafruit site for that part. Uh, but after some studying and running through the logic of it, I was able to figure it out. There's uh, three main connections you need to be concerned about. There's power, ground, and signal. Uh, data in, data out and then those get wired up to the trinket board. That's what I'm doing right here. And at this point, I'm gonna bust out my computer and I'm gonna load up the Arduino sketch to the trinket over a USB connection. And then I'm going to power it with this uh, included rechargeable battery. And there they go, and I've tested the electronics. They seem to be working, going through different colors and different animations. Next step is going to be getting these into the goggles and fitting them in and gluing them in. Now there's two different types of glue I'm gonna be using. One is E6000 adhesive, which is recommended from Adafruit to help provide some strain relief on the battery pack and on the different wired connections. Because these are wearables, they're gonna be moving around. Uh, it helps keep the, the wire from wearing out. Another thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna test out different diffuser materials. I did just grab for these from around the house, paper, plastic. Uh, what I wound up going with was this stuff called frisket film that I had handy which is kind of like a plastic backed paper that did a pretty good job of diffusing the LEDs. Right, here I am. I'm using the lenses to trace out uh, the, the size of the diffuser that I need and then cutting the rest of it out with an X-Acto knife. I probably just could have used scissors instead. All right, at this point, I'm fitting the NeoPixels through the front of the goggles putting them in place and then using hot glue to glue them. Now, the, the, the rings fit well. It's not a pressure fit, uh, but they fit in loosely and, and closely enough where a little bit of hot glue around the exterior is going to help bridge the gap between the uh, interior of the goggles and the exterior ring of the NeoPixel ring. Uh, it works out well. The other bit of hot glue I'm going to use here is to glue the trinket down to the side of the goggles so that all the components can fit inside of the goggles uh, without sticking out. All right, here I am. I'm using the battery. The battery just kind of fits in loosely. I tuck it behind some of the cables. And there they are. There are your NeoPixel goggles. This was a, a fun piece to have for Halloween. I dressed up as a mad scientist. No one seemed to really care about any of the other things I was wearing, but the, the goggles definitely got me noticed. Uh, $40, I feel like that's a good value for what this kit is. Gets you familiar with the trinket and with NeoPixels. I recommend it. If you'd like to see more kit and project reviews like this, check out my website, makerprojectlab.com. Uh, you can also check out my weekly news show called Maker Update and my list of my top five favorite kits for makers. Okay? Thanks for watching.